Hey, welcome everyone. Welcome to day five. It's Friday and you guys have been totally rocking it. You know, one of these days I'm just like, I'm not going to bring my glasses. But anyway, I know they have the, the reflection in it. This looks weird. Anyway, back to Sketch Note Boss. You guys are just doing such an amazing job. I am so excited. I just get so jazzed when I get to go through the Facebook group and just see how clever you all have been. You know, uh, you know, so you may feel like, oh, I'm doing so horrible, but you're not. You're doing great. You know, they, so we're just, you know, it just takes time to develop. But just keep on plugging away. You guys are amazing. So today is day five. Yay. So we're going to take a break for the next two days. So I'm going to give you Saturday and Sunday to do things that happen on Saturday and Sunday. And uh, I'd like you to just give Sunday a try, you know. Probably should have put an extra page in your workbook, but I didn't think about it, you know. Can't think of everything. So bring another page. Go along with you and just try it. Just, or, you know, if you've got a blank notebook, go ahead and, and start there. But don't, don't care. Um, you know, if it's ugly, if it's awful, the point is, are you getting more out of it? That's the point. You know, there's a great post about, um, you know, so sorry, to, I didn't write her name down. Um, but uh, she was just like, oh, this is a really ugly post, but I really got a lot out of it. So it's just like, oh, gold stars for her. She's, that's the whole point. It doesn't really matter what your page looks like. Are you learning more? Are you capturing more of the information? That's what matters. So keep on keeping on. Um, so today, day five, we're going to do S curves for your patterns. And you are going to do caps only with double lines. And then you're going to make a list. So um, I think I have a list of five things. But this is the first generation, I, so I only did four. So pick something, um, places you've traveled, your kids' names, your favorite desserts, whatever. I picked my fav four favorite movies. Um, it was hard to choose because there's a lot more than four. And uh, so I'll show you my movies here in a second. But we're just going to now, we've done bullets, um, and today we're doing numbers. So now let's put them in action. Let's try and use... Some of those things that we've just been uh, learning how to how to do those tools so here's some basic numbers i tend to just use these those my go-to just um although sometimes uh, i like to do this to kind of give it a little depth especially when the speaker just takes forever to make a point so don't get frustrated um when you have a speaker that's not as polished as a ted talk speaker and i'll, I'll talk about ted talks later um, because we're actually going to do a TED Talk towards the end. But, uh, you know, so if you've got time, you can, you know, kind of shade in your numbers. But, you know, because it like, you know, a lot of people just get off track or tell long stories and you have time to do other things. And that's when you fill in and shade and things like that. So, again, it takes practice and you kind of get a sense of where this guy's going. You know, do I need to, you know get ready for the next point or do I have time to doodle you know the point is keep your pen busy so all right so here's my page so here's my s curves so I had s curves that were parallel s curves that were not s curves that were crazy and then I don't know what you call this but basically I just kind of started with like a uh, eyeball shape kind of thing and then I just kind of drew lines and then I drew drew another one kind of a fish maybe and uh, just kind of, you know, kind of parallel the patterns of the line till they meet in the middle and then they get to be straight. And then you just kind of kind of fill in the whole air rest of the area with similar lines. So here's my alphabet using my double lines. This is a great title uh, choice. And, uh, you know, you don't want to obviously use this for your writing or even maybe your subtitles, maybe. But it just sort of depends um, on you know, how much time you have and how much space you have. So here's my movies. My number four got cut off. As you see, I use big, bold numbers so I can easily see this on the page. Went ahead and did a title and put the marquee, put it on the marquee. So probably my favorite movie is North by Northwest because I love Cary Grant. Okay, like, I don't tell much, many people that, but now, now it's out, now you know. And probably most of you don't know who Cary Grant is and uh anyway but it's just a great movie probably my favorite and then followed by the princess pride 
got a little eclectic in my movie choices. Uh, I love Apollo 13 and I love Dave. Um, so Dave is a movie with Kevin Klein and he is a doppelganger for the president. So kind of a fun little movie. Anyway, so um, anyway, so there's my little Mount Rushmore because North by Northwest, uh, the final climax scene takes place at, on Mount Rushmore. And, uh, and it's called North by Northwest because Cary Grant goes north in an airplane on Northwest Airlines. But it took me forever to figure that out. But now you know. All right. Little Bride for Princess Bride, Rocket Ship for Apollo 13. And I know that's cut off, but that's supposed to be the White House. So anyway, I want you to just come up with some cute little icons to illustrate your list. Can't wait to see your list. And then um, here's my numbers. So I came up with more numbers. I kind of did a double number. You know, this probably isn't practical filling in the numbers uh, like that. If you are actually live sketch noting, you're not going to have time to color all that in unless, again, you have a speaker that likes to ramble and then you've got tons of time to color things in. So um, kind of did kind of an architectural numbers here, did some flowers. Um, this font is called Book Antiqua or Bookman Old Style. They're both kind of similar, but just kind of give you that old style number. And then you can just kind of decorate inside the letters. That's a choice. So anyway, just give you some more options, some ideas. Um, and then I want to talk about icons. And because uh, I'm seeing a lot of awesome, awesome icons. And uh, I just want to talk about uh, Christina's from South Africa, like I am so excited that you're tuning in from South Africa. But look at these amazing icons, oh my goodness. So Christina clearly has uh, some serious drawing skills and that, that is totally, totally awesome. And, uh, but I just wanna mention that probably in a live sketch note situation, she's not gonna have time to give this the kind of detail, you know, the shading of the books or, you know, even the shading of the of the boat over here, or even these little lines, because you got to get it down, you got to go fast. Now, I'm not saying that there is no place for these icons, because there most definitely is when you join your Bible study, or if you're um, doing some of the other challenge that I have you do later on, that maybe could turn into gifts or other interesting things that could be helpful at work or any number of places. Uh, then you have time to sit and draw some of these things with this kind of detail. And that's fine. So they have their place, but in a live sketch, sketch note, easy for me to say, sketch note situation, uh, you might not have time, but if you really want to be that detailed, you can always go sketch afterwards. There's no laws that says you can't. I just know I tend not to go back to my sketch notes after they're done. So therefore my goal is when the speaker's done, I'm done. Or I maybe during the last song, I don't, don't stand up. I just finish my sketch notes. That can be, sometimes I do that. But uh, so just kind of be aware of the amount of detail. And, uh, you know, again, Christina, these are amazing. I can't wait to see more icons from you. But uh, just from a live sketch note situation, um, you may not have time to do that kind of detail. But I'd really like to see your sketch notes on Monday. So there's... Christina, you have an assignment. So um, here's some icons that I drew because I'm just a nerd. And when I just, my husband's working his way through all 20 seasons of Law and Order right now. And uh, so I will just sit and sketch and come up with little icons to draw. And yeah, me being who I am, I have to like get everything very organized. And so I'm all, I mean, edu easy for me to say, my educational icons all have to be on the same page and so on and so forth. So I have kind of have a page and that, that way, if I can go back and think of another icon, it's kind of there and I can go ahead and draw it. But you can see my icons are really, really simple. A uh, couple of lines and I'm moving on. And, um, you know, maybe like I might not even do the, the this detail here on this ruler unless I've got some time and, you know, the, uh, the speakers, you know, telling us a story and, and I then maybe can go back and add some details. So, just kind of the difference between very detailed and shading and lots of lots of detail on an icon versus, um, oops, all right, there we go. You know, very simple, quick, 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 if you're in a live situation. So it just sort of depends on what you have time for. So anyway, just wanted to bring that up. 
and I hope you guys are enjoying. I seem to like you guys are giving me the most positive comments. I mean, I have totally jazz. So thank you so much for all your comments and all your work. I just love seeing what you're posting. So keep it up, and I will see you in the next challenge. Oh, I hope like Monday. We'll do we'll do day six. Have an awesome weekend. See you soon.